Today we are uh, discussing uh, Hans Morgenthau. Hans Morgenthau was a German born Jewish lawyer came to US on the eve of World War II. <clears throat> And the book he wrote, which became hugely successful, is Politics Among Nations, The Struggle for Power and Peace, first published in 1948 and went through six editions in his lifetime. It was a principal text from early 1950s to late 1970s. Okay. Textbook in universities and uh, practitioners of foreign policy, politicians uh, also took the book very seriously. Uh, I am taking the account of uh, Richard Ned Lebo. Richard Ned Lebo uh, as given in the book international relations theories. He contributed a chapter on classical realism <clears throat> in his book. And uh, what I liked in uh, Lebo's, Richard Ned Lebo's um, framework is that mm, he gave importance to Morgenthau gave importance to like Thucydides to both power and community. But as in Thucydides' case, power was highlighted. But the community part is in a way neglected. Morgan Thau uh, explained, gave, gave his theory in terms of certain, or Morgan Thau's thought is explained in terms of certain principles. Uh, one central principle is that uh, man seeks power and uh, he wants to realize his interest through power. Okay. And what is true of man is true of uh, state also. Morgantho brings continuity between an individual and the state. So what is basic to man is also basic to state. That both seek power, that all seek power, no matter what type of man 
is uh, no matter what type of state is bring some predictability to the behavior of man as well as the state what are the principles related to power he says politics is governed by object to loss with their roots in unchanging human nature and realism perceives the world through the concept of interest understood in terms of power so one uses power to pursue interest and this infuses rational order into the subject matter of politics and that makes theoretical understanding possible while interest is to be universally defined as power the meaning and the content of interest may shift and change so interest keep change and uh, basic nature of man search for power is explained in this statement politics is a struggle for power over men and whatever its ultimate aim may be power is the intermediate goal and the modes of acquiring maintaining and demonstrating it to determine the technique of political action so this is what he said about power and uh, <clears throat> and modern who believed in uh continuity between Uh, individual and state, individual and uh, state. He knows that individuals are part of a state, part of states, part of a state with the government. but states are not part of any inter- any hierarchical international arrangement there is no world government so individuals have a government but states do not have world government so which means that uh, to more than how uh, the morality that is applicable to individual morality that is applicable to individual is not applicable to the state okay so what is ethics for individual who is a part of the state and community and society is not the same thing as what is ethics for a state these two are not one and the same but it is not that the states have no morals but it is that morals or ethics are different what is moral at an individual level within a state is not moral 
uh, at the level of the state. So ethics should differ. And this is what he said on ethics. Universal moral principles must be filtered through the concrete circumstances of time and place because they cannot be applied to the actions of states in their abstract universal formation. So universally applicable, universally what are stated universally true may not be applicable to the states. Because moral aspirations of a single community or a state may not be universally valid or shared. So what is regarded moral at one community may not be regarded as moral at another community. So there is no consensus. And realism maintains the autonomy of the political sphere. Which means that the political sphere is different from moralistic or legalistic. So realist must show where its national interest differs from moralistic and legalistic viewpoints. National interest is not the same thing as what is true morally and what is true legal. legal. So national interest is national interest. So that's why there is an autonomy to the political sphere. So Wook and Thau rejects rejected something like this. Woodrow Wilson's 1917 statement, the beginning of an age in which it will be insisted that the same standards of conduct and of responsibility for wrong shall be observed among nations and their governments that are observed among the individual citizens of civilized states. He's saying that a day should come where uh, standards applicable for individuals should be the same as standards applicable for the states or the standards for the states are the same as the standards for individuals. So Morgan Thau thinks this is a fundamentally wrong statement because the constraints of the states are different from the constraints of the individuals. Okay. But does it mean that uh, states should not have any ethics. Morgantho doesn't think so. What is important is uh, power plus command. Importance to power means balance of power is the source of security because when there is power imbalance, the powerful one wants to uh, disturb the peace by going for war. But if the power is balanced, then peace comes. That is from power point. And Morganto thinks that balance of power is valid not only across nations, but even across individuals. So in that sense, he is seeing the continuity. How about community? Security comes when there is a sense of community, which means shared values. sense of justice. Sense of justice. So values, justice, promote community and they promote self-restraint. So Morgan thinks that these things are also important for peace. Okay. 
and uh, he looks at history in terms of is there a community at that time okay and what was taking place at that time For example, he looks at history like this. Eighteenth uh, century Europe and pre-Pelagian War Greece have certain values. Okay. fear and shame and some common sense of honor and justice moderated the ambitions so 18th century europe had certain values like pre war greece uh, this contributes to community sense he says one of the things french revolution did was community sense ruptured and then during 1930s germany japan italy and soviet union rejected the premises of international order which means there is no consensus on values similarly there is no consensus on values during the cold war so if there is no consensus on values what happens is that community is down if the community is down peace is down okay and then uh, justice promotes the sense of community justice is a source of restraint so when we promote justice uh, people will uh, won't want people won't like to do what they think is unjust so it's a source of restraint and then if justice is promoted people will pursue their self interest along a particular path so justice enables self interest to be pursued in a particular path justice acts as a restraint so mokan thaw thought that uh, justice plays an important role which means a, a powerful country or uh, two powerful countries should not try to settle things simply through power but create a system of justice and justice is the way to influence and when there is no sense of justice people like hitler and napoleon will come so modern thought says in fact all foreign policy is the struggle for the minds of men so it is not simply pursuit of power you know what happened was in the context of morganthos writing he wrote that book in 1948 politics among nations criticizing the morality moral too much of moral influence in american foreign policy but uh, from 60s onwards morganthau thought that moral dimension missed for example he was critical of us intervention in vietnam morganthau criticized the embrace of real politics and and moved to the other end of the continuum that is simply power 
he said morality of the age imposes limits on both means and ends so us intervention which is not which is not regarded as moral which is criticized by many uh, contributes to decline of community and decline of peace okay so decline of justice contributes to decline of peace so promotion of justice is important so that is why he says this is what a leader should do what is required for the mastery of international politics is not the rationality of the engineer but the wisdom and moral strength of the statesman so morgan thau was not for simply accumulation of power without any sense of morality and justice because morality and justice contribute to peace and if you are seen immoral and unjust you are inviting power struggle and violence okay and in the end murdanto believes in developing structures which are relevant across the states example he said finally well being of human race required a principle of political organization transcending the nation states some organization transcending the nation state it means it is a towards creating community and he was appreciative of european integration he said that what is historically conditioned in the idea of national interest can be overcome only through the promotion in concert of the national interest of a number of nations so european nations created community okay so the author's point is that morganto believed Um, both in power plus community okay like two states it is not true that it was only for power both are important okay one cannot depend only on balance of power to bring peace do balance of power can be an important thing okay and last how does he view his thing this is what he said on his thing social world is a chaos of contingencies but not devoid of major of rationality social world is a chaos of contingencies contingencies but not devoid of major operationality what is it a theory can do a theory is to state the likely consequences of choosing one alternative as over against another and the conditions under which one alternative is more likely to occur or to be successful than the other so not that more than to Found a formula that can be applied in a way. Uh, it is the practice requires a judgment. So uh, it means that uh, uh, political action is is complex, and there are no simplistic solutions. One has to understand. one's own context and apply 
and he says the uh, no theory is final and in fact each thinker is trying to arrive at a theory uh, depending on the political reality that his times was facing so he said all lasting contributions to political science from plato aristotle to marx have been responses to such challenges arising from political reality so reality gives the challenges and uh, challenges gives new rise to theories um, a particular theory but reality itself will change and a new theory will come up okay so uh, reality cannot be captured by any one theory forever okay so there may be something fundamental and universally true about human nature and so universally true about a state but political uh, situation is complex requiring judgment and statesmanship thank you